Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for Vanilla in which we're playing with the DLC Arms Against Tyranny. Now I'll be honest, I've not really played this at all. I don't know what's going on and I'll be honest, at the time of this recording I have, uh, well, I'm not really caught up with what's going on but with the new DLC installed, not sure what's going to happen. So you, me, and everyone else watching are going to try to figure this out. And if you have any recommendations, any tips for things that are new uh, in the Arms Against Tyranny DLC, please let me know in the comments below because I'm sure we're going to need it. But, we're in 1936, uh, January 1st. We're going to see what happens. We're going to try to go historical. Not sure if that's going to work out the best for us. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to go and just convert these guys over to this template because I like this template a little bit more. 12 Combat with Engineers. We're going to work with this one. We're going to begin with Finish Neutrality. The strength and determination of our people. To fight for the freedom cannot be erased. However, we should pursue a policy of neutrality, so that our neighbors have no reason to snuff out our hard-won independence. There's war support, more political power, more stability. Not bad. Um, because I want to get to political unity uh, immediately because we're out of manpower. And we get an advisor named Elias Simojoki, which I'm sure I'm butchering his name. 200 weekly manpower, and I know for a fact we're going to need that pretty fast. Regardless of political ideology, we all want what is best for our people. In the time of crisis, we must put aside the petty political squabbles and work together. So... Um, like I said, I'm not sure what the new update really brings. I know there's an, like an international market now over here. Uh, where you buy stuff, buy equipment, sell equipment. Um, so we'll see what that's like. I guess there's market subsidies. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And like I said, if you have any recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments below. So hopefully we can win out against the Soviets in our war against them. But um, there's no guarantee, of course. So to get this guy, we will get daily... Um, fascist support, which is not terrible, but it could be better. We have Scandinavia, uh, Bryce Southern infrastructure would be probably pretty good to do. We might want to increase the military budget, though. So I might not be playing everything in correct order, going historical, but, you know, my knowledge of uh, Finnish history is incomplete, I'll put it like that. But we're going to increase the military budget next. The nation's security is of the utmost importance. By increasing military funding, the defense force will will be well equipped and better prepared to withstand any potential threats. Which is good. But I want that manpower as fast as possible. So, a remilitarization of the Rhineland. Um, apparently, we, we can't get down here later, which kind of sucks. Uh, we want to go to partial mobilization. Ooh, white liberal, huh? Well, it's not bad. I want to get whoever can get us more manpower. I like this. More political power is nice. Uh, but also, one thing I did realize, and I've, I've been browsing the Reddit just a little bit at the time of this recording, is that consumer goods has been reworked. Ooh. Um, it's now a consumer goods factor instead of just consumer goods, a flat buff. There you go. This is the guy we want. We get more daily fashion support, which kind of uh, kind of sucks because we still want to stay non aligned. But we're going to increase the budget and. We want more research speed. So from there, what else are we going to do? I would like some more daily army XP gain, though. But I don't want us to go fascist. I want us to go and stay not aligned Or unaligned. So I don't want to increase. Ooh, more political power would be nice. Because we're going to get point nine two right now. Um, point four. So we're right here. Expect a number of good factories put on consumer goods 35%. We'll go here immediately. Uh, helps us out a little bit. 35, 25%. 30, 25 a partial mobilization would be pretty good to go to right now. I just don't want to lose any more support. Let's see. Let's help balance things out a little bit more. He's not country leader. I'm just going to get more political power for now. We can switch him out later. So after this... Uh, more than 25% world tension. A million civvy and steel is not bad. Underground resistance cells. Well, what else we have? Enhanced Southern Infrastructure is not bad. I would like to get down to this one. We're in a competing machine, which... How long is that going to take us to get down to? 1938, so get another research slot there, because we could really use that. Stability would be nice. Weapon caches, railways, infrastructure... This would be pretty good to get to as well. Railways and infrastructure, though. Hmm. Uh, let's go with Enhanced Southern Infrastructure next. As the Finnish nation looks to secure its place in the world, it must focus on building and improving its industrial capacity. The first step to achieve this goal is to improve the infrastructure in the southern regions to ensure that they are better prepared to handle the demands of the light and heavy industry in the short term. Pretty good. 
So we got all these guys we gotta work on. We're out of a lot of guns. We have just a little bit decent amount of artillery, which we're gonna use, be using quite a bit of support artillery. I'm not sure which division would be best to use, or I kinda wanna go with Winter Expert just because we are Finland. But we probably don't. Unyielding Defender is probably the one we want. Uh, our Charismatic would be bad either, but we'll see when we get there. But I'm glad we're getting weekly uh, manpower already, which is nice. Collaborators with the left. Uh, Finnish Swedish People's Party. Political Power Game von Born. Well, that's not bad. Euro Kekonen. 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 Hmm. National Unity would be bad. Uh, uh, Arndel Lotusverd. Support, support companies get more organization HP, which I've been recommended that that would be quite good for us. They go to Spain killing themselves. Pretty normal. Cry for help. Not bad. We need someone to help us balance everything out. And... Sure. Oh, and these technology buttons have some use as, uses as well. I might just go with partial mobilization for now. What is this? Ah, so we have very low trust, which is not good for us at all. I'm going to wait until this election fires, so we'll see what happens next. Industrial development would be nice. We can't get the... Do we want to do one immediately? See, synthetic refineries would be bad. Nokia, huh? Dockyards. Military factories are very good, though. And we definitely want military factories. Army experience gain. Uh, we must enhance the capabilities of the Finnish Defense Forces by investing in the research of new military equipment and modernizing training facilities to ensure readiness in the face of any potential threats. Yeah, that'd probably be good. We're going to go with partial mobilization next. That helps out a little bit, but not by a whole bunch. Um, so supply-wise, they have no supply up here. Uh, I've been recommending to hold... Let go of most of Petsamo as well when the war begins and hold on to here. Um, supply's not great. I'm just not entirely sure. I may replay this again from time to time, or between this episode and the next, just to see what we can do and what we should do, and... Where we go from there? Ooh, where we get some more our daily army XP? Defense, 15%. That's so much. I think I want to save up for Minoham next. I don't know. But we're here to learn. It only costs 10 uh, command power, which is actually fantastic. So, Pierre Evans Svindhofen. He's a conservative nationalist. Faster infrastructure construction speed. Lose stability. Better ideology drift defense. And minimum surrender limit. So, we have personal agendas now. Eradicate socialism. Having less than 1% support for the democratic and communist ideologies will increase public trust. Considering support for socialists, having more than 9% support for the democratic or communist ideologies will decrease public trust. Finnish sovereignty threatened. Losing control over a Finnish core will decrease public trust. So, right now, it's getting worse. And we could do a motion of confidence against, against our guy. Um, Is there any support for so socialists? So it's important to do democratic or communist. The democratic is nine percent, so it's getting there. Merely anisid would be nice. Basically, war support, heart attack, and piercing is not bad. Save are nice still though. Uh, railways and infrastructure. The Great War demonstrated the necessity, necessity of robust, robust steel and railroad networks that support infant industry and the military getting in resources or people where they need to be. After decades of occupation and bloodshed, our logistics network are in, yeah, are in need of investments. So, we're going to need more guns, but we're going to need more of this, and we need more of that. We need a lot more of a lot of things. Grand battle plan entrenchment would be very nice, but I see that support company stuff here. Oh. Battalion modifier. So this is something different, too. Recon detachment leg imagery. Soft attack. Plus 5%. Well, that's not bad. More recon, defense, organization. Of course, I usually like doing superior firepower with integrated support because they get more organization anyways and soft attack. Even more organization and soft attack. Shock and all. Recon gets more recon and reinforced rate. That's supply consumption, daily command power gain. Mm, brigade size one, plus one, yes. Entrenchment though, entrenchment defense, and flat organization. Well, I would like to use a lot of support companies. I've been told that's pretty good to use overall, so 
Oh, let's go with Spirit of Firepower. So it's still tried and true. I could be very wrong about doing this, so. Oh, actually. Yeah, land action cost daily, army XP gain. Probably go here. Overwhelming firepower. Engineering schools more initiative would be nice. Flexible organization. So, okay, static warfare, more max entrenchment would be nice. Gush Regon. Reserve officers, victory or death. Smoke and fire. I might just use static warfare. I guess we could probably use that. We're gonna start working on that. There you go. That's gonna be nice. We need construction four for that one. Wow. Also, if you see me do making any mistakes, I think I might want some active tank. The Soviets are probably gonna have tanks, and this is only our only advisor here, so we'll probably use them. If I make any mistakes, or you think I you could do better, please let me know in the comments below, or things I can do uh, to improve my run here, because I know this is going to be a pretty tough run probably overall. Let's not make any divisions, of course, either. That's first, that'd probably help. Reserve ten. Eh, I'm just going to do that one. That's fine. That's fine. Cost point one political power every day, huh? Or you know, interesting. Yeah. Well, we don't have the colossal industries of the great powers. We do have a myriad of smaller factories in our operation. Rather than starting from scratch, we should repurpose these small premises for war production. League of Nations Council decided to support, impose an all-out embargo on trade with Italy as a response to the country's unlawful aggression against Ethiopia. The sanctions include any and all resources that can be used for production of war equipment. They are to be imposed immediately and remain in place until the country ceases the hostilities against Ethiopia. Brother Italy, there are harm relations between us. No more stability is nice. Anti communist pact. Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address the common terms goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of sub uh, subversion and violence. By signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Yeah! Oh, it's embargo a certain number of nations. Cool. Finnish Army. It's proud of its proud and independent heritage. Finnish Army stands as a formidable force, hardened by years of struggle against outside aggression. With the fierce determination to defend their homeland. Soldiers of Finland are skilled marksmen and resilient fighters prepared to stand, withstand even the most daunting of foes. Despite limited resources, the Finnish army represents a tenacious and unyielding spirit that shall not be broken so easily. Even more civvies. Um, we're going to build that one up. Because I like this one too. Manaham line. Hmm. Recount radio, yeah. So this is new too. Trades and military industrial organization. Now I don't know what the best route is for these. Uh, what is your research bonus? Please let me know what you think about these in the comments below, because I would love to know. Two rocket artillery. Two artillery. So breakthrough. And it looks like it up. Does it for all those guys? History, research, anti-tank, production line history. Only for toad anti-tank and toad anti-air, which I kind of want both in the end too. But I definitely want to get anti-air first. Soft stack, heart attack, air attack, efficiency gain, more production cost, but better soft attack. No, we can't do those. Cap of gain and cap and gain. Cap and gain. Soft attack and breakthrough, which I do like that one. Reliability. Dear. Hmm. This it does it all. Have I been doing that mistakes? Please let me know in the comments below, like I said. I would like this one because I like this division and I want to add on support arty. Karelian and Eradentist Rider. Political power, less communist support every day. Huh. Interwar artillery, nice.
Mm-hmm. Another military factor would be nice. Matter how line, industrial development. Finish Swedish People's Party. I would like more daily support for Unaligned because we have no more support. People of Swedish ancestry make up a substantial minority in Finland, collaborating with the party that most ardently represents their interests, which, which may win a uh, substantial support for policies and win the favor of Sweden itself. Because there's nowhere else we can get that, so. Presidential term comes to an end. The end marks the day of the embattled Pear Evan Svenhufud must secure their place as president once again. Despite having served as president since 1931 and having enjoyed an extensive record of popular rule, standing was significantly diminished by refusing to include social democrats in his cabinet, breaking his promise to do so. This uh, political faux pas severely hurt his chances of re election, we will only find out today, where that's not to top of the old man Pete. He must earn the trust of the masses. Appoint Kyosti Kalio. He has supported the centrists and democrats. Oh, so communist support goes down, which is good. Backed by a pop, uh, political co coalition, more political power. Interesting. So we need less fascist influence. So this is the guy that we want. No, this is at least historical. Wish no competence attacks the masses, huh? Divide by two. We don't want to do that one. So... I just don't think I can get rid of this one. We need that weekly manpower. Swedish Finnish People's Party. So. Mm -hmm. Industrial development. As the world becomes increasingly industrialized, Finland must keep pace if it's to become a major planet power or player on the global stage. The investments we make in our heavy industry will not only create jobs and stimulate the economy, but also provide the resources necessary to meet the challenges of the future. There you go. I don't think there's anyone else here who gives us more of manpower, is there? Women's rights activist, huh? And if I have to do it again, because it looks like we'll get more than enough political power here. Um, that's interesting. Political power, daily compliance. Because someone else helped balance them off, so we get more uh, stuff here. Ooh, it is medium trust. Well, let's do this then. High trust. Looking good. Looking pretty decent. And what do we have here? Nokia, huh? Another train just... Well, it looks like we should probably go with these guys. Production cost goes down. Which actually would be pretty decent. But I still want to get to... Uh, Watch the mob. You can build things slightly, slightly faster. Oh. So you're just pressing enter and boom, it goes. By the League of Nations resolution to support Ethiopia, the League of Nations Council debated the request for e from Ethiopia for military intervention in the war with Italy. In the end, the Council wouldn't go so far as a call for a full-scale invasion or intervention, but gave the statement recommending member countries to support Ethiopia in any way possible, including possibly allowing volunteers to take part in Ethiopia's side of the conflict. Should organize this properly. Same volunteer limit. People want to go. There's no point sending citizens to die in another country. Sure, why not? Political power gain. Uh, more political power along with the Agrarian League. Democracy. Democracy. National unity. Uh, the Lone Wolf. Interesting. Well, we can use another melee. Also, come pull for the defense industry. 
Investing in the National Metal Industry Company, Otu Kumpo Oi, will help increase Finland's defense readiness. The establishment of a domestic metal factory in Porti and copper electrolysis plant to refine copper, raw copper, brings all sufficient to Finland's copper and brass production. Um, that'd be nice for another civvy. Do we need any more steel? Yeah, we could use some steel. That would actually help us out. So, industrial upgrades in Arjavalta. In Arjavalta. Efforts are underway to modernize and streamline the nickel and copper industry with cutting edge technology and improved production line methods. The aim is to maximize output and fortify Finland's position as a leading producer of these vital materials. But I want another city, so Suomen Ilmal Biomat. We must focus on improving the effectiveness of the Finnish Air Force through investments in research and training. The goal is to create a modern and flexible air branch capable of meeting the challenges of modern warfare as well as providing crucial support to ground troops during combat operations. National Unity. As war draws ever closer, we shall rally the people of our great nation and demonstrate to the world once more what it means to be Finnish. Good. And then we're going to arm the Lotta Sverd. Probably. The Lotta Sverd have proven themselves to be the great asset in the role as auxiliary force. Given the proficiency in our dire situation, perhaps it's time we better arm the organization and integrate with more effectively into the armed forces. No more population wouldn't hurt. Um, no, Bank of Allen. The Bank of Ireland is the cornerstone of Finland's economy, providing the stability and support necessary to drive growth and prosperity. By investing in the Bank of Ireland, or Ellen, Finland is investing in its future, laying the foundation for a stronger and more prosperous nation, because I want that other research side, because we're already doing a competing machine now, so by the time we get there, we'll be done and good. Um, we got we did do some anti-fascist raids here as well, because, uh, well, we kind of needed it. And I've been spending all our political power on all this stuff, because I didn't know exactly what to do here about this. So, fascism has been banned, which is nice. For now, as ideology is getting better here, and now we have 5% trust. So that's looking a little better because we need to maximize it and completely max out when we, well, honestly, really need to. We haven't made any more divisions yet just because we have enough stuff here except for trucks, and that's going to be kind of an issue for us. Not good, I know. But we need plenty of guns, plenty of cities, plenty of everything, really. Anti raids, fine, fine, fine. Uh, with this one, we're going to go with this guy because it helps with. Lack of resource penalties, resource efficiency gain, excavation technology, research speed. I like railways too, but still. It's 1938. Uh, basic planes, that'd be fine. You know, I, like I said, I might not be playing this right. General aircraft designer. General ship. Oh, uh, Kushan Vulcan. That's nice. Bank of Allen. Better consumer goods factor. More political power, stability, all the good stuff. Um, because we are having some slight penalties here. Is that really worth it, or should we get some air XP? Hmm. Artillery attack and defense, wow. Special forces cap plus six. Image attack and defense, that'd be pretty nice. Jaeger movement. Radio intelligence, intelligence, not bad. Von Falkenhorst, huh? Interesting. Doctrines, land doctrines. I like this one, though. Export focus. Good free trade. Hmm. Navy. Become a bunch of miners here. Tanks. Probably not going to focus on tanks too much for now. Uh, fuel salad, maybe. How much of that's really needed, though? Maybe yeah, get more fuel. Continue to train our stuff. Oh, actually, you know what? We only have one thing anyway, so it's not like we can even use it. Hey, 800 arm XP is pretty nice, though. Uh, I can probably get rid of this stuff here. Hey, you are 3%. It's going up. Into acid masses. That'd be nice to do. And the world costs us a little bit more. So how long uh, is fascism banned? In the current situation, allowing fascist parties to continue to organize would undermine our ability to govern it effectively. Drastic measures will need to be taken. For now. And then, uh, Suomen Akatemia. Several Finnish intellectuals, led by the renowned mathematician Leo Asari, are pushing for the foundation of the Suomen Akatemia, which will become the national premier academic institution, driving scientific innovation, helping position Finland at the forefront of technological development. 35 days, stability war support would be nice, too. Uh, Mannerheim Line, though. An average of fortified defenses. We must turn our attention to the Mannerheim, li Mannerheim Line. A complex network of defensive fortifications. The land stretches across the east country's eastern border and must be secured against enemy incursions. 
To this end, the Army is working to improve both fortifications themselves and the supply lines that keep them stocked and operational. Yeah. So we'll go see that one. Those are the places that we'll defend. Oh, we actually have a little bit of bot Look at that manpower. Look at that. Also, we did put quite a few forts here as well. Level 3 forts, because I do want to defend this area here. Um, I'm not sure where else we could really throw some more forts. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure. Because I don't want to lose any tile here at all. And we can build these. Level 1 forts are very easy to build. And we're putting enough political power as is. Um, Air Force. Sure. Navy stuff. Sure. Hey, there goes competing machine. Nice. It's a little ahead of time still. I'm not sure if I really want to do that one yet. 1939. Ah, infantry stuff. Yes. More cars, wars, mechanized. So that stuff will be good. Artillery is okay. Ships, is there really any point to invest in them? Navy and Navy eventually, or Air Force eventually. More defense would be nice. Soft stack reinforced stops would probably be the one we want. Heart attack and piercing. Well, probably soft stack and reliability. Could be wrong. That might be what we want. Also, we're going to need some divisions to help defend. Obviously, the front line is important. But I need places that people are defend the ports, too, because, well, the Finnish, the Soviet Navy is not gigantic. We still have ports here that need to be defended. So that, that would be great. We need more divisions, my god. <laughs> nice. Hey, we're positive finally. High trust, I love it. More stability, more po uh, war sport, and a recruitable population factor. We actually had a little bit of political power there. See, he may give us some jelly fascism. That's all right, as long as we can hop, help offset it. Now we have to wait for more uh, world tension because Ethiopia actually won their war. <laughs> Go figure. Italy, well, even on historical, they still can't beat Ethiopia. That is terrible. Even I wasn't able to do that. Huh. So Adidas Ababa is not even the capital, eh? Huh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That's actually really god awful for them. That depth and defense. Yeah, I'll probably want to do this one. As the enemy grows stronger and more determined, it becomes clear that a single static front line may not be enough to hold them back. We must now build new fortifications and smaller defensive lines beyond the main front line, providing multiple layers of protection and giving our force the flexibility to counterattack as needed. We'll make the enemy pay for every inch of finished soil they try to take. Very good. So let's take a look see here. Is there an option where we can see fort lines at all? No, there's not, which kind of sucks, in all honesty. Level 5, 5. The 42. No, 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 no. 2. I guess you just do it like this. These are all right here. Of course, building of infrastructure would have been nice too, but still. Let's finish off this city first, at least, because we'll get that bonus to building defense in depth. So, Helsinki Air Defenses, Land Fort, Orosima. Because then we're going to do this one next. Union of Finnish Brothers in Arms. Group of Population Factor, Division, and Recovery Rate. The Union of Finnish Brothers in Arms are at the forefront of the nation. National Socialist Movement are increasingly gaining support as our nation comes under threat from abroad. If we were to collaborate with them, we could gain a great deal of support for the defense of the nation. Let him just go and get some more output here immediately. No. Artillery would be nice. It's not bad. I don't want the infantry though. 
This regrouping, 12% recovery is very good. Jaeger movement, huh? We can't do that one, so. Infantry attack. Construction line speed boost multiple. 5%. Limited exports. Huh. Well, we have to have a theorist. And yeah, let's find out. A lot of ports all around here. I wonder if this will hold. Maybe it will hold. Maybe it won't. Obviously, we need more divisions on the on front line. But we'll see. I'd like to throw in recon. I've heard that recon is not bad now. Salt to deck. Bonus multiplier. So let's try to get that one on next. And then some anti air. Do we have any anti air yet? No, we don't. That's unfortunate. We're definitely going to need some more anti air. That's the case. Anti air. There we go. So, or at least we're getting some anti air for now. Support equipment. Well, we're going to start working on the recon here. Oh, we have a horse division here too, huh? No, four combo with probably is not going to be cutting it, not going to lie. Five, suppressive, elastic defense. Oh, blitz this. Choose elastic defense as preferred strategy on a general field marshal country. That's nice. Supply of reconstruction. For 200, I kind of have to go with that. That's That's really nice. There's other stuff over here too. Another council. Nice. Ah! Extra refresher exercises. There we go. Tension keeps rising in Europe, and if Finnish independence is to be preserved, we need to strengthen the defense of Finland through intensive training exercises, preparing for any potential outbreaks of conflict, and ensuring the determination and readiness of the Finns to defend the nation's sovereignty if necessary. Good. And finally, a 403 search slot. I should have researched, my bad, I should have researched with this, my bad, I should have, I don't know why. I just love, just pressing enter is so easy. God, I hope our guys are ready. We literally do not have any spare divisions. Oh god. Manpower, that's a problem. It's pretty normal. Hey, read it propaganda. We got it. Why not? Use it. 44% is pretty good, too. Let some losers join you. Okay, then. I mean, that would make it easier for us to when we try to fight the Finns. Finns. We are the Finns. Fight the uh, Soviets eventually. So, with this, organization, special forces, capacity multipliers. Interesting. You know what you're talking Yeah. The Jaeger movement would be good. Salvage and retooled. The Finnish High Command has put forward a proposal to reinvigorate the defenses or defense forces by promoting officers with previous Jaeger training. These officers are experts in guerrilla warfare and sabotage operations behind enemy lines, making them the perfect candidates to hone new unit skills in unconventional warfare. Uh, uh, tactics and lead them into battle. Multi tactics. I heard that's pretty good too. Yeah, you're moving and salvaging or tool, eh? Ah. Still mobilizing, about 0.391% is mobilizing per day. 
Salvage and retool. If our armed forces are to prevail in war, we must focus on maximizing wartime resources, taking advantage of captured enemy equipment, salvaging damaged material, and repurposing it when necessary to align the two Finnish tactical doctrine will allow us to meet our enemy's supply needs and greatly strengthen our military capabilities. Hey. We need at least four, because we do have at least five ports now? We really have five ports? There's one, two, three, four. Oh, one. Ah, oh, right there. One, two, three, four, five. God damn. Oh, God. Why do I keep going in there so fast? Well, we're going to need both, anyways. Nice. There you go. Plenty of trucks now. E trains, empty tank is definitely. You know what? I do that. I'm pretty sure we need some empty tank. We're doing okay on empty air. Ooh, we should get some field hospitals. I forgot about that. My bad. I just don't want these. No, no. Sisu, huh? Good, thank God. Yeah, good movements. I want another military factory. No, I want you up here. Right now, the forts. Fort line. I'm not sure we can hold all the fort lines. It'd probably be better if we went in a little bit more. We'll see if I have to redo it, whatever. Hmm. Stability would be nice. Where are we at right now? Oh, we're already there. Sacrifice it just a little bit. Vampire comes in handy. We're not mobilizing anymore, which is not good. But her, I've heard this is very good too. But I think we're gonna choose what mines, eh. civvies, civvies, synthetic refiners would be nice. Civvies, civvies, civvies. civvies. Yeah, there's a million down here. That takes so long to get down to. Funds gain. One size more than four. Um, cold front. Naval base, land port. Expand air bases. Because why did I do that? I don't think we'll be able to hold. If we can be able to hold here, that'd be great. If we can. I have a feeling we won't. And if we won't be able to, that really sucks. But still, look at both of these to get down here. Ooh, two millions, but I want this one too. Just slightly more manpower because we are out completely. And we only get 200, 159 every month. So. Nice. And there goes World War II. Forgot which war we were talking about now. Nice. And there you go. Because we already threw up. All these divisions as smacked as close as possible. It's nice there. Field hospitals are good. Should definitely help us out. Doesn't help that I keep stacking more stuff up here. Oh, I guess we. Oh, I could throw an tank on here later. Really, just getting ready for that big push against us. I 
Better engineers than us. So they demand Karjala. Oh god. Sadly, they need to create a security buffer for Leningrad. Officials from the Soviet Union have asked for a vision of our borders. They want to see Karelia to them. And judging by the build of the Soviet forces along our border, we will not take, they will not take no for an answer. How should we respond? Let them come if they dare. Alright, look, it's Poland. That was fast. Let's go more days. Get a little more organized first. And you guys can stop doing that. Now then join the Allies. The Winter War. Finally, the territorial ambitions of the Soviet Union have culminated in an invasion of our country by the most vile enemy. We must take all measures in our power to form a solid defense against the ruthless attack. Let them pay for every step forward in our land. Cut them to pieces. Add the Winter War, mobilization speed, recruitable population, defense corn territory, pushing back the Soviets on occupied land ground allows us to demand peace negotiations. Also being able to control more Moscow and Negro Olenets will allow us to demand those states as territorial concessions from the Soviet Union. That's looking good. Then to the League of Nations, which is okay. Um, war economy would be nice. We have a lot of political power saved up. Uh, go here anyways. Oops, I should have read that one. Because it actually applies to us, the figure. Bob Nanjing. So I'm noticing here, there's not a lot of supply here. Obviously, that's not very good. Interesting to notice that Belgium joined the Allies. Of course, they don't have a lot of supply either, which is good. Your Denmark. Can you, like... Huh. Oh, they did their... Oh, look at that. That's interesting. That's the rearmament. Obsolete armed forces versus... Quisling, eh? Anti-communist sentiment. Ah. That's cool. I haven't actually taken a look at the cheesy out here. German protectorate. Well, that was fast. And they're Sweden, too. So now that we're at war, national defense, the defense of the Finnish territory and independence is of the utmost importance. We should be ready to do whatever it takes to defend our people against any ex external threats. Yeah, duh. 1,600 losses versus 15,000, that's pretty good. Pretty good casualty ratio so far. Oh, that's not good. Leave and recover. Oh, that's not good. I may need to reconsider how we're defending here. I mean, if we have to lose a few tiles here and here, here and there, it's probably be for the best. We should probably plan this out a little better. Oh, sure, guys. Took whatever we got. So it looks like they did push us out of there, unfortunately. Uh, which is why I wanted to get a lot of the stuff done first for an armor, the cold front. Um, oh, I'm going to call front two, Winter War. That'd be good too. Because that gives us supply, supply combat penalties on core territory. Harsh winter conditions of the Finnish front damn man, proper preparation. Uh, supply routes must be secured and the camouflage tactics improved to ensure the resilience of the defense forces in the face of winter's challenges. Weapon caches. Huh. Cry for help. The League of Nations has followed its duty to protect member states from conflict. But there are those who are abroad who may yet hear our cry for help and come to our aids, or so we hope, and Peronese devils. Nikki Peronese peanut battalion has proven to be an effective use of manpower that would have otherwise languished behind bars. We shall also expand upon his work by creating a division of prisoners who are willing to fight for the country, but I think so far, I mean, it's a good initial attempt at defending. I might replay some of this just so that we can even have a better attempt in just a little bit next time, too, because, well, what we're doing well, I can see I can uh, need to learn a little bit more from. What we've done here so far, because we're actually holding out decently, so. Uh, I think I'll end it right there, though. Oh, our snoopers. Well, let's do about this first. Our snipers are proving highly effective. Reports have come in that our snipers are proving highly effective at fighting our enemy forces and shooting into our forests. It's a good opportunity for war propaganda, as the term white death has been propped up among enemy soldiers, referring to the dangers posed by Finland's nature and people. And we can pin this to a certain person to rally the population of what happens to prop up. Adding more arms to the hunters. Snipers become more deadly. Aaron Minen.
Sure, why not? But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see if we can re uh, make sure that Finland doesn't completely die in the Winter War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.